your secrets to being beautiful? Well, first and foremost, you have to eat well. You have to eat well. You have to exercise. We try to eat organic food, my husband and myself. But then, of course, we have Dr. Tess. That's my biggest, <laughs> ado, you know, factor is Dr. Tess. Dr. Tess takes care of us. And how did you meet Dr. Tess? I took a friend of my mom's, and she said, uh, do you have a dermatologist? I said, no, sadly. I said, in Manila, yes, but here, there's none. And I'm very scared to touch my face because when I use it for work, and I like the way I look, <laughs> so we can just want to improve on the texture of the skin and lines here and there. So I have the perfect person for you. So we did. We got to work and, what and we're always there now, right? <laughs> Unstoppable. Always a test. I have to go. Test. I have a party. Week. Every week if we can. So you went through the time machine three times. Three times already. Within um, what? Six months? Or yes. Not even a year. Mm -hmm. Three times. So I love it. Dr. Venus freeze. Ah, yes. So Dr. Tessa, tell us about the, the time machine and what it does to the face. Right. Well, the, it's, the time machine is perfect for someone like Hilda who really does not want surgery. When she first came to me, her and her husband were really adamant, she's like, no surgery, not, you know, there's no cutting because Hilda looks beautiful as it is. It's really just restoring, preserving, but it's really, you know, maintaining her authentic beauty. And that's really what I believe, that's my philosophy in rejuvenation is that we really need to preserve our own authentic beauty. Um, and now we have these amazing tools and the time machine is not really one machine right. it's really a combination of machines and the best non-surgical technology to address everything that's happening with aging and um, and I was just explaining when I explained to Hilda that, that you know the reason why people do, do not look natural when they have their skin pulled and, yes. and tightened and cut is because that's not what happens with aging it's not like we grew new skin the reason we sag is that the skin has deteriorated, it's thinner, it has spots, and that's why we have wrinkles, and also we lose, lose volume. So what we're going to try to do is really combine, you know, resurfacing, radiofrequency, plasma, fillers, Botox, everything that's out there now to force your body and your skin to create your own collagen. So for Hilda, her big problems before were around her eyes. She was starting to show her age there. She had some lines here. She hated the spots on her skin. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, the, and the mistress, I couldn't cover And she doesn't yeah. like to wear makeup. Right. When you see Hilda in, on a regular day, she doesn't have makeup on. She hates makeup. And so what we're able to do is really achieve all of that for her. I mean, when people see her now, they're like, oh my God, that's Hilda. Yeah. Yeah. Same <laughs> Hilda for now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so, so, and it's one of those things that you can go through the time machine more than once mm -hmm. because the more you get it done, the more collagen, collagen you produce. So you just keep turning back the clock, turning back the clock, and now at almost 60, this is how Hilda looks. Yeah. And it's just, she's just gonna age how, you know, where she, where, this is her new beginning, but of mm -hmm. course she's gonna be coming in for more treatment. Yeah, We're just gonna bet. keep going back. back <laughs> once <time>. a week. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You know, once the, the, a week. <laughs> the, the treatments are painless because she right. doesn't like pain. I don't like pain um, there's, you know, could be a little bit of downtime, but it's really phenomenal what we can do. I've stepped into my own time machine. I'm 42 mm -hmm. uh, this year, and um, looks like a teenager. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it works, you know. It, it does. Works. It does. Even my husband loves it. That's yeah, true. and the men, the men are also yes. doing it. Yes, it looks mm -hmm. natural. Yeah. I mean, you're not doing anything, you know. It's important for men not to look unnatural, even more so than women. And so we've seen a lot of celebrities out there that men, male celebrities, that really are, are feminized by all of the surgical things that they do. And so now that we're able to do this, it's like, why not? Who doesn't want to look younger? Who doesn't want to look at themselves in the mirror and say, gosh, that's how I'm closer to how I used to look. And also closer to what you think you should look. You should look yes. Because now, you know, like Hilda's so healthy, her and her husband exercise, mm -hmm. they're eating well, they're so active um, socially at work. Yeah. Um, so what, how you feel on the inside is no longer being reflected on the mirror. Mm -hmm. We're right. gonna get you closer to that, you know. That's amazing. <laughs> it's truly amazing. Mm -hmm. Dr. Tess, tell us how you prepared Hilda for can, for example. Well, you know, it's, it's really, we actually were already doing the time machine before and um, we've kind of already started the process. She's looking amazing already. And then 
Hilda told me through Tax, and yeah, oh Tass, my my film is gonna be showing at the Cannes Film Festival. We're like, yes, and so we kind of you know kind of created a, a, a fast track program. Um, did another time machine, did some more photo facials, more Venus freezes, and then um, um, she looked fantastic at the Cannes Film Festival. And then also, I was her personal hairstylist. <laughs> she was excellent. Oh my God, that was the All most around. stressful. Thing, I was but, useless with hair, but Tess was there. Uh. Right, so we got her ready, and I was so proud because you know the people who were there, who haven't seen Hilda for yeah, years, years, and who watched Hilda mm -hmm. on big screen mm -hmm. there when she was, at, you know, 17. 18, 17 yeah. years old, they're like, oh my God, it's the same Hilda. Yeah. <laughs> How could that be? And so I was really proud, um, you know, that I get to be the one to preserve, you know, the Philippines. You know, most beautiful face. So. Was there a lot of pressure on you? Um, I think you know it, it is in there, but I think it's more the hair that was more <laughs> <laughs> bigger so. pressure. My husband's like, I know you can make her look younger, but you actually signed up to do her <laughs> hair. hair. You know, so but that's how down to earth Hilda is actually, and that's it's been such a personal, uh, you know, like privilege to get to know her and Ralph, and you know. And when, when people hear of Hilda Carnell, they, they, they think of like this big movie star, unreachable, but she is so down to earth. She didn't even have a big entourage at the can. She was just me, my, my husband, husband my Ralph, husband. and Hilda in their hotel room getting yeah. ready. And we're like, wow, what a surreal experience. And so I just thank her for her friendship and her trust in me because Everyone wants to get a hold and, and you know touch Hilda's face, and I get to be the one to do it. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really. And you happy. have how many clinics? Right now? We have four offices in Southern California. Um, we have the Glendale office, the Scripps Ranch National City, and the Del Mar office. And so um, we're very busy. But you know the the message really is um, that you don't have to go under the knife to look your best. And we have such amazing technologies now that um, you know are, are not just for celebrities yeah. and movie stars it's for your day-to-day -day, um, you know your, your average person, person a regular people it's reachable it's doable and it's um, not painful yes <laughs> that's the number most one thing important. my Filipino patients are the most sensitive to pain and I am the biggest baby in the pain so we yeah. make it make sure that it's painless and you will see results so thank you very much thank you thank